How do you fit in triathlon training when you're traveling? Watch on to find out. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multisport, and endurance events and training. Over the last two weeks, I've spent over 50 hours on planes. I've flown interstate within Australia, and I've also flown to the other side of the earth from Australia to England. And it's not like I haven't got an event coming up. I've got an Ironman in now just under a month. So training volumes right now are significant. So what sorts of exercises can you do when you're traveling that will keep up your training? Well, a lot of this depends on where you're traveling to and what you're able to bring with you. Going out for a run is fairly easy. You just need your runners. But the problem, if it is raining where you are, then you might need to go indoors. Unless you enjoy the rain, of course. And that is where gyms come in. Gyms, if you're staying at a hotel, a lot of hotels have gyms. So it can be really useful to utilize that gym. If you don't feel like running outside, then a treadmill might be the best thing for you. Of course, one of the best reasons to use a gym if you're traveling is for the cycling. I don't know anyone on the Gold Coast where I currently am, so I can't borrow a bike. So, stuck with stationary bikes. Choices, choices, choices. Part one of my travels at the moment. This week I am in the Gold Coast, which is in sunny Queensland, although it's bucketing down with the rain outside. So obviously cycling on a stationary bike is not ideal. They are not set up for you, but in a pinch, it's definitely worthwhile. Today is my recovery ride day. I don't need to go too much. I think it's just a 20K indoor ride. So that's fine. If you are able to borrow a bike where you're going from a friend or from a local bike chain, then that's another option. You use someone else's bike. Or if you're lucky enough to be able to take your bike with you, then you can do some cycling on your own bike wherever you are. Swimming can also be a little bit tricky. This also depends on where you're going. If if where you're staying at a hotel, the hotel might have a pool or you can try and find a local pool in wherever you're staying. And then we have hotels typically have pools. So, so I think it's about a 20 meter pool, 25 at the most, not that big, but yeah, you can get a couple of laps in. I'm swimming in a hotel pool rather than going to the beach while I'm on the Gold Coast is because I'm staying at the McCure and it's like eight kilometers from the beach and I can't be bothered going that far this morning. Whilst it's raining, it's not the best day for it. And when you've had enough of the pool, jump into the spa. Ah, that's good. Here I am once again at Sydney Airport. Today I'm flying to England, so very long trip. Arrived in sunny Manchester. It's a balmy four degrees centigrade at 8 a.m. Well, there are a lot of great aspects about traveling and training as well. One of the best is being able to discover new places. Going to a new city, to a new continent, to a somewhere, anywhere in the world, you can run, you can cycle and or swim and discover that area. When I was in high school, I studied music. One of the key concepts that kept coming up all the time was unity and contrast. So unity is doing the same thing. Contrast is doing something new, something different. And that contrast and versus the unity allows for people to have their interests peaked. So it means that you don't get sick of the same old boring route that you do every day. And it's that good mix of unity and contrast that creates interest it's in the music and also in your triathlon life. So you still need that unity. You still need to have a solid baseline of exercises and 
a good route that you can choose every week that is useful. But having that little bit of contrast, uh, spicing things up, having something new allows you to just enjoy it a little bit more. So this is Cleveley's, which is a little bit south of Fleetwood, a little bit north of Blackpool, within that area. Oh, nice place. Done 1.1 k so far. And that's one of the great things about traveling is you can explore new places, see new things, go running in places you wouldn't normally go running. We've got a really nice promenade here in Blackpool, up to Fleetwood. It's about 20k. It's a really nice run, but you do need to watch out for the sun because you can get sunburned. Although today it's nice and cold. This is a beach in North England. Not too bad. Actually. A bit of sand. Lots of rocks. It's also worthwhile keeping up recovery. So if you can get a hollow foam roller, that way you can put your clothes or something inside the foam roller and save space. That's also very worthwhile taking with you. Another significant part of traveling, especially if you're traveling into country, and especially if you're traveling from Australia anywhere, is the time spent on planes and in airports. That is time that you can't really do too much. If for some somehow the airport has a gym, you might be able to access that, do something. Otherwise, I guess you could do a bit of a jog up and down the terminal. Um, when you're on the plane, you can try and walk up and down the aisles as much as possible and maybe use that time as recovery and also doing a lot of stretching. What do you do for training when you're traveling? Let us know in the comments section down below. Also, if you've got a few spare dollars, consider donating to Neura. I will be running on behalf of Neura for the Sydney Morning Herald Half Marathon in Sydney and I'll be running in a costume. I'm not sure what the costume's gonna be just yet. Neura is a company that does research into prevention and cure of disease and disability of the brain and nervous system. I'll leave a link to my individual donation page below. I'll also leave a link to Neura so you can learn a bit more about what they do in the description box below. If you'd like triathlon content every week from here in Australia and New Zealand, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.